On July 26, 2022, new STEEL standards were published to update science curriculums across the state. Some of these changes include an increased focus on engineering and tech, as well as an emphasis on connections in math, ELA, and the real world. Curriculum supervisor for the school board, Kim Morris, explains more about the importance of adding connections to other subjects in the science curriculum. In science and technology and engineering and math, all of those subjects work together to solve a problem. So it's very important that we look across content areas to determine how to solve problems. These curriculum changes will affect all schools in the district. However, the elementary science curriculum will be adjusted the most. Devon Elementary School teacher and Science Standing Committee member Wendy Prothero shares her feelings on the changes. Well, I think if we keep a lot of the hands-on approach and a lot of the lab experience, I think they will still enjoy doing science, enjoy see themselves as scientists. I mean, that's something that we really try to do at the elementary level is, you know, the kids see themselves as a scientist. Although the changes will provide students with more opportunities in science, teachers still have concerns with the adjustments. I'm a little anxious about it because it's change is hard. Change is hard and it's, um, you know, as an elementary school teacher, I teach so many things in a day. So to have everything brand new in science is, is going to be challenging. With the changes piloting next year, teachers and the administration are excited to provide students with an updated science curriculum. My hope is that the changes will uh, excite students where they will now be able to maybe be a little bit more creative in science, in the way they think about science, in the way they're processing how things work in science. Training for the curriculum adjustments will occur over the summer and the updated curriculum will be fully implemented by the 2025-26 school year. For The Spoke, this has been Rowan Shetty.